again, my name's Gabe Zolna. This is the 11th of March, 2019. Posted a couple of real interesting videos this morning. One of them was on Saudi Arabia and the uh, Saudi Prince Awad bin Karal. And I talked about his ownership in 21st Century Fox News. And I also talked about his ownership in Twitter, being the second largest investor in Twitter. I went ahead and I did a little search. I wondered why I was taken off of YouTube, taken off of GoFundMe, taken off of PayPal. And I surmised that it's quite possible that it was my view on Islam. If you watch many of my videos, actually thousands of my videos, I talked about Islam. And I talked about what I believe Saudi's intentions are, which is the return of the Ottoman Empire. I talked about King Abdullah created Barack Hussein Obama. I went ahead and I did a search. And I wanted to know what kind of investment Saudis have made into the mainstream media and other companies in America. Title of the article, Silicon Valley is a wash with Saudi Arabian money. Here's what they're investing in. Written by Michael J. Corin at C-O-R-E-N, posted October the 18th, 218. You see a photograph of that smiling crown prince, Bin Shaman, Mohammed Bin Shaman, as he's waving. What's written is most interesting. I'll give you some of the highlights. Torture, assassination of political dissidents, Financing terrorism, civilian airstrikes, oppression of women and religious minorities, Saudi Arabia's record on human rights ranks among the world's worst. Yet, the U.S. has counted the country among its allies for a steady supply of oil. Willingness to contain Iran's ambition and fighting the Islamic State. After the apparent killing and gruesome dismemberment of critics and Washington Post columnist Jamal Kursaki at a Saudi consulate in Turkey this month, allies in the U.S. may be falling away. Really hasn't changed a damn thing. The U.S. has a cozy relationship with the country. Saudi Arabia was the first foreign country Donald Trump visited as president. And his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, has a chummy relationship with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Shaman, the leader of the country's absolute monarchy since 2017. Trump has stood by the monarch without criticism since entering the White House. Last year, Trump said in a speech before Arab leaders in the Saudi capital Riyadh that he was not interested in pressuring them on human rights. This week, Trump simply repeated bin Shaman's account of the alleged murder. Just spoke with the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia who totally denied any knowledge of what took place in the Turkish consulate. Hey Trump, it was the Crown Prince G5 that picked up the murderers. Trump, wake the hell up. Trump tweeted on October 16th, quote, he was the Secretary of State Mike Pompeo during the call and told me that he has already started and will rapidly expand a full and complete investigation into the matter. Answers will be forthcoming shortly." End of quote. How come they never came, Donald? Huh? But even reliable allies are now turning against the country. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham said this week he can no longer do business with Saudi Arabia as long as Biram Shaman remains in charge. The boycott of the country has spread to business leaders, especially in Silicon Valley. Uber CEO Dara Kawashigi and other prominent figures, including executives of Ford, Google, and PJ Morgan Chase, Paywall, have pulled out of the country's annual Duval in the Desert event this month. Now, what you want to sort of take a look at, and it's going to be frightening, is the amount of money that the Saudis have invested in all of those companies that I just mentioned. Billions of dollars over the last five years, quit estimate Saudi investors have directly participated in investment rounds totaling at least 6.2 billion. 
Since the exact composition of each round is not public, it is not possible to say how much of this money came directly from Saudis compared to other investors participating in the rounds. But the Saudis are among the world's biggest check writers. As the kingdom diversified its wealth away from dwindling oil reserves, financial vehicles have funneled petrodollars into Western companies. After signing just one such a deal in 2009, at least a dozen investments per year have been recorded by Quid since 2012. These direct investments come on top of Saudi Arabia's Royal as one of the biggest limited partners backing investment funds. Two forty-five billion investments in SoftBank's venture funds in the last three years have instantly made it among the world's biggest financial players in the venture world. Now, how much do you want to bet that they're heavily invested in Google, Facebook, and YouTube? Doesn't that explain why a First Amendment has gone down the drain? I just posted a video on Fox News chastising Judge Shireen Piro because of the comment she made of a desert mudflap, Iman Omar. Folks, we have four of them right now in Congress. The next election we're going to have six, possibly eight. How long before they're in the Senate? We already had one in the White House. Wake the hell up. The takeover has been done. America is toast. Just a matter of time. In one of my videos a few years ago, I said the best thing you could do is teach your children Arabic. I wasn't kidding. Absolutely insane. The infiltration is well underway. You think not? You're not thinking. The link will be attached. Read the article.